Texas to Maine this morning. Hotels are booked. Highways are crowded and some places have even issued a state of emergency ahead of the solar eclipse. ABC's Christian Cordero has the story. This morning, millions of Americans are hoping for clear skies to experience their excitement in totality. Came down here for the eclipse. We're keeping our fingers crossed for the weather. I got the uh, certified safety eyewear. I got UV filters for my camera. The path of totality across the U.S. spans from southern Texas to northern Maine. Along the way, a boom for local businesses between rental cars. We're fully booked right now. That's one thing. So even if they call us, we don't have. And homes. According to Airbnb, one out of four guests with a reservation has booked to stay along the path of totality. Texas is among the most booked states. Indianapolis, the most booked city. The increase in travel means extra traffic on the roads and in the skies. They even told us to maybe be prepared to sleep in our store if we needed to. The FAA has issued a travel warning saying the eclipse combined with spring break could cause delays. But you don't need to be in a classroom for this science experiment. We've been talking about coming here for this event since what three months before she was born one for the history books for those lucky enough to witness as they do have weather concerns but are really hopeful that we're going to have a very good experience it's going to be disappointing definitely if it's cloudy next time it's going to happen in what 20 years or something Yes, the next total solar eclipse for us in the U.S. will be in 2044, though only some of the upper Midwest will see it. Another one will happen the following year in 2045. That one will stretch from California to Florida. Christian Cordero, ABC News, Washington. Today, we're told students in the Sock Prairie School District will get to view the eclipse thanks to a donation of solar eclipse glasses. These came from the family of educator with the district, Kit Eilerston. The Eilerston family will also be participating in the eclipse viewing with those students.